What's up with it, y'all? Well, like, back with you again. Got another Malibu 1.5 with the turbo. Y'all see that thing over there? We ain't gonna get to that. But anyway, gonna have to pull the head off. I'm not already started um, unloosening stuff, taking stuff loose, but that valve right here, number two on the exhaust. It stuck down and the rocker arm, which is laying right there, was laying down in there. Hopefully we don't need a cam. That would look the wheel is turned out of time. But we're gonna tear it down and pull the head off of it. My bad, y'all. I know I done left y'all out on some steps, but it was a lot of, it was a learning process with this particular engine. But anyway, we got is in time right now. Time and work marks where they need to be the chain lined up. We done snatched the time and chain cover off. Got the tensioners off. Um got the chain off. Cooling lines up. Only thing I got left right now is the ten head bolts and one fuel line back there. But other than that. <laughs> It's ready, the head ready to come off. 2020 Chevy Malibu. The dual rocker arm off. Where's my, where's my rocker? There's my rocker. There's my rock. <laughs> turbo off. The turbo is something serious. I ain't gonna really lie. I believe that turbo. I honestly think that turbo is the worst part of the whole job. Honestly. I honestly think that yeah, we got oil leaking everywhere at the back. It's all good. We had to rotate the engine. But we're going to clean all this up. It's going to be a lot of brake cleaner going to be used. But we got all the parts on the roll cart. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, this is stuff right here. Intake. Time and chain cover, time and chain guides, uh, time and chain tensioner, all that good stuff. Yeah, we in it though. But it's all good. It's all good. But anyway, catch you tomorrow. Pull the head out tomorrow. See what's going on. And all this, we still don't know. What? I mean, like, if we we still don't know. We still got to get the head off. Hey, I forgot to record some of it, but just like that, we got the cylinder head off. We finna get ready to inspect it in a minute. But we done broke this thing all the way down to the, to the block. Now let's. Hold on. Yeah, lift it, lift it. Pick it straight up and lean it over. Lean it back that way. They go to valve. Can y'all see it? The valve is stuck and bent. Yes, sir. Bent valve. Y'all see it? All right. Y'all 
y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that good now. Y'all see that valve? See that bend? Bent valve. Man, it hurt. I need to take these down. Yeah, my pieces to the car. Yep. One valve was bent. Don't worry about the Burger King bag. Them just so uh, the stuff from off of there. But yep. Parts are ordered on the way. We're gonna go back together. Hopefully we can say it can. Hopefully we can say it can. Got the block surface cleaned. New gasket in. Got the head over there with the new valve in. About to clean it up and sit that on here. We got the head surface cleaned up. All the debris off of it. The old gasket off. All that good stuff. Y'all see the new valve? One valve was bent. There's the old. We got the head back on. New boat sand. 22, 22 foot pound plus 190 degree, 90 degrees. I think it is. I'm going to double check it. We about to torque this down and keep on going. After that, it'll be the timing chain call. Slowly but surely, we going back together. We got the head on, torqued to spec. We got the cam back in, torqued to spec. We got the timing chain, guys, tensioner all back on, timed up. Just got to rotate it over a few times to ensure that it's timed properly. All the timing marks and stuff are set, but I'm still going to rotate it over eight times to make sure it lined back up right. And true, once as long as it line back up right, we'll go back up with the timing chain cover, then the valve cover gasket, then everything else be almost done with it. Almost done. Well, as you see, we done got it in the shop. The turbo, which is the hardest part of the whole job, if you ask me. Got that back on. Got three more lines, them three lines to tighten down. That oil drain line at the bottom of that turbo though, I think that's the hardest one. What, we finna go on back on the intake, got the new gasket in. Go on get that back on, and all we got left after that, is the valve cover. We y'all almost done with it. He's back. And she running. Belt got a little squeak. I just sprayed uh brake cleaner. I'll clean it out. Brake got a little squeak. She is back together and running. Sit here and let it run, see what it do.
right back up. Huh. I meant to add this. On the car, I end up changing the cam and the phaser. Put the old one in, the car, it wasn't, it wasn't going to act right. Had to take the time chain cover back off and put a new cam and new actuator in. That solved the problem. But I don't think I explained it like this, so that's why I'm throwing it in there. We got the new phaser and the new cam. Even though I was questioning it, I asked all the GM techs at Canon that worked on the 1.5, and that's what they came up with. They gave me the wrong cam and the wrong phaser the first time. But, as you can see, boom, we on time, boom, we on time, and boom, oops, I'm going to drop my phone, so y'all see, we on time. New cam, new phaser. So we should be good to go. We done timed it up. Time to chain tensioner released. All the bolts retorqued and everything. Assembly lube on the on the bare can shell. Because it was dry. Didn't want to install it in dry. So we put a little a little uh, assembly lube on it. So it won't be dry on start up. Now it's time to put everything back on to crank it up. And we should be good to go. And just like that, back together. New cam and phaser in. Good to go. Crank it up. Fire up on the dime. No more check engine light. No more check engine light. Mud Light Services to the rescue. 1.5. I got you. If you need it, I got you.